Well, CEO of the Orange Bowl, Eric Palms, joining us now on the sports desk. Eric, it, it doesn't get any more orange than this for the Orange Bowl. You got Tennessee, you got Clemson. I got to imagine when you see these two marquee names, you guys are pretty pumped that these two big schools are coming down here. Yeah, we're incredibly excited for South Florida. I think it's going to be the most orangest of Orange Bowls <laughs> that I can remember. Uh, a great matchup, number six, Tennessee versus number seven, um, Clemson. And to have, you know, a non-playoff year and that type of matchup is just incredible. Great history with these programs, great energy with their fan bases. So I think South Florida's up for a big treat come late December. Yeah, I, I've, I've interacted with Clemson's fan base in the past on, on the road for UM games, and I find them to be, to be kind of very welcoming and a really mm -hmm. cool uh, fan base. How excited are you to see those two fan bases descend on South Florida and what's going to be available, not just for them, but for college football fans down here? Fortunately, we've seen Clemson quite a bit over the last decade being in the Orange Bowl so many times, and... Uh, we know what they bring. They were here for our first semifinal game in 2015 and brought, I think, 50,000 people with them. And then we go back 25 years ago when Tennessee was here in 1998, Peyton Manning's last game as a college football player. And uh, what an army of, of fans that came that year. So when you put this together, like we said earlier, a lot of orange in Hard Rock Stadium. Do you guys enjoy when you get to feature uh, let's say a new team. I, Tennessee, we all know the, the history. They've been around a while. Clemson, they've been down here in the last decade, of course. But when you get to feature a team that's on the up and up like Tennessee is, Josh Heupel really has that program moving in the right direction. Um, does that excite you more than maybe just some of the, the, all, uh, the Alabamas, the Georgia, some of the familiar faces? There's definitely something special about a program, especially one like Tennessee, that has such an amazing, rich tradition. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, for the last two decades, you know, hasn't played at, at the top, top level. And now here they are. And it's palpable. We've been to Knoxville. You can feel it. They're one of the great stories of the 2022 season. And uh, we're very fortunate that that energy is coming down here to South Florida in late December. Now, speaking of energy, the Orange Bowl just isn't about the football game on the field the night of. There's events around town in the lead-up. Can you tell us about some of the exciting stuff that will be happening around South Florida? Yeah, I mean, Orange Bowl is really a celebration through the entire month of December. Going into January, we have our Orange Bowl International Tennis Championships, which is some of the great, great players, junior players in the world. I mean, two years ago, Coco Golf won that tournament and we know what she's doing right now. And then we get into, you know, the bowl week activities that are coming our way. Uh, the teams come down for more or less a week and there's all kinds of activities for them. But for the fan bases, we have our Ave Met Orange Bowl coaches luncheon the day before the game at Jungle Island. It's a great opportunity to see the players, to see the head coaches. And uh, then it leads into the Capitol and Orange Bowl on December 30th. We have our Fan Fest before, which is free with your ticket before the game. And then the game itself, which has all the pageantry that goes with it, including our Capital One Orange Bowl halftime show. So uh, lots of things for the general public. We're excited about it. And we think that uh, it's just great coming out of those years of uh, COVID that we've been dealing with. And now I think, you know, we're all getting back to normalcy. You can see it with Dolphin games. Mm. And we have one of the marquee college football bowl games coming our way. Eric, I, I try to get you to do this each and every year. I, I'm going to make this a tradition. I always ask you for a winner, and every year you, you, you deflect like a pro. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you got? Are we going the orange of Tennessee or the orange of Clemson? I'm going to go this way with you. I'm going to say that whoever wins that game has got a lot of orange on their uniform. That's where I'm going to go. <laughs> All right. All right. The tradition continues. Eric Palms, yes. one of these days, I'll get you to go on the record to say, say who's going to win the matchup. Yeah. Thanks for joining us here on the Sports Desk. Appreciate it as always. Thank you so much.